Hi and welcome to Attendance Register developed using Java Eclipse. Okay, this is how the system works. We can always enter the lecturer's name there. Let's say is lecturer's name is let's say Kemi Kemi Pulse and Mrs. Kemi Pulse. Yeah. And the students, I say they are all absent. Just enter zero there, click on this, and that populates that. Or oh, if they're present, click. Maybe one of them is sick, and the other one might be late as usual. Tony Montana is late. What about Henry Hill? Late as well. Well, you know those two characters. All right. Now let's come in here and check out. The picture of Henry Hill. That's Henry Hill right there. Attendance, well, not too bad, 90%. Let's see the attendance of uh, Tony Montana. That's Tony Montana there, 88%. Well, you can be surprised, it's Tony Montana. Okay, guys, that's how the system works. So, what I will do now is take you guys straight into Eclipse and we put one of these together. Just before I leave, this is the picture of the college. I drew this in Flash. It's on YouTube as well. And that's the name of the institution, St. Malachi's. Alright, maybe in Sapley. My old school. Alright guys, so with that, let's go straight on to Eclipse development environment and we put one of these beautiful tutorials together. Let's do that now. Hi and welcome to Eclipse tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be based on attendance register. So I'm going to click on OK. Okay, I'm going to click on File, New. Java project and I'm just gonna call that Eclipse underscore attendance register let's click on finish right there so you click on finish and there we go right if I come in here to the resource store or restore it's called let's look for our attendance registered or Eclipse attendance registered there we go so I'm now going to right click on it go to new come straight to order and here make sure you select window builder and right inside window builder you must select swing builder this is how it's meant to look window builder drop it down select swing builder drop down the swing swing builder and let's select application window this very one here So let's click on next. Now I'm going to give it the name. That's the name I intend to call my system. Okay. Eclipse application register and Eclipse application underscore registers. And click on finish. Just for your information, this video actually is at the request of someone let me show you the guys details here right there you can see can you make an attendance management system using Eclipse with a window builder with a window builder plugin it's very useful for my project he said well 
he will also like me to send him the code when I finish. Well, let's see what we can do for this guy. We may not send him the code, he will have to watch the video. So, let's see. Let's come to the design interface right there. Okay. So, that is my frame. So in there, I'm going to go back to the source code and let me change that to the coordinate. I'm going to change it to zero. Okay, that is the frame right there. Changing that to zero, zero coordinate. And I would then change the width. This is supposed to be the width. Okay, changing it to zero, zero. What will happen is if I run the system, it this frame that you're looking at will actually be hanging up there. Let me show it to you. There we go. But supposing it was 100, what it was before, undo that. It will be somewhere around here. Let's run it and you see what I mean. Right now. Okay, you see that. But I don't want it there. I don't want it to start there. I want it to start at the far left okay let's change this one to 1700 and the height i'm going to make that 800 so if i run it this is what you will see that'll be the whole screen covered you see that that's beautiful that's what i want now let's go back into the frame itself okay while on the frame let's right click on it and select set layout let's change it to absolute layout there that is done so the next thing is let's add J frame paste it right on board okay that's a J frame seems to be small here yeah, there we go I'm gonna make the J frame about here or oh. Let's go straight into the code. That's the J frame there. And come right in here. There we go. That's the J frame. I'm going to change this. Okay, it's 10. Let's make this 10 as well. And let's change this to 1300 plus 145 and make this. 650 no do that 650 here yeah, go back to the design you see the that's it itself it's not visible but well, let's select it and right click and change that as well to absolute layer then let's go straight into the structure here okay that's where we have the properties now let's select border why the border is selected drop the default down and let's change it to bevel border and make sure it's lowered there we go that's lowered and we can even change the color let's change the default color let's make it dark yeah and click on ok click on ok again there we go look at that it's beveled and the color is dark that's fine we can even run it then you guys have a good look at it let's see there we go guys look at that that's beautiful you might not be able to see it alright let me come back inside this code and the edge of it you can see all of the information there okay the plane is now set to beveled and the color is gray right let's change this to maybe four six forty yep that's fine I'm gonna run it again. Just wanna see how it will look like. Alright, I guess you guys can see it now. 
okay let's close that now next thing we want to do is we need to add some other components on board so I need yeah I'm gonna need another plane just to draw just gonna draw it down there right and let's change that to beveled as well Bev. change the color to something dark click on ok right this is not dark enough let's fill it up yeah that is good all right so the width is a bit too wide for me let's come inside the code and change that width maybe make that about six okay. yeah six is fine now come right here yeah that's it that's what i want okay what about the height let's change the height that's, that's six and change this one to about six hundred and twenty six twenty for now or maybe six thirty right back in there okay guys yeah that's how i want it move this up is perfect exactly right let's see now okay that's good so what I want is I will now copy that okay we want the attendance details here okay that's that's beautiful all right the next thing we want to do is maybe we just copy one just drag it down much from here Keep going and just take it right here. That is fine. Now back in the code. So I can just change everything. I can even copy this and change that to this. Now the width. That should be six. I want it to be six. Yeah, six. Is that right? Yeah, that should be fine. Then I'm gonna copy this because I want it to be beveled. Yeah, that's right. It's right there. Okay, copy all of this information here and just paste it right in here. Copy this. Copy, paste it right inside here and change this to six. Six, six. Yeah, that should do it. Right, come right in here. And that's it done, taken care of. Good. That is good. The next thing we want to do, maybe I should run it first and see how it all looks like. Okay, it's taking shape. Now I'm going to need a picture of the institution somewhere here. Okay. All right, let's collapse that. Well, let's come back in here before adding any other thing. I may have to speed this up because the design might take some time to finish. Let's look for, we need a label. Okay, I'm gonna need a button. Let's put one button here first, right in here. We need a button there. I need a label. Yeah, that's a label there. Select that and just paste that. Be there. Change the properties of that very label. Make it maybe 18 bold.
back on the structure the properties so let's change that to student student number student number okay maybe we need to copy this paste that here and change the content in there right that's just student paste and that will be student name Next one is going to be course code right here. Right. Okay, and here that's where we have our one attendance details here so let's change this it's going to be a lot of changes here to be done in the first place I'm going to change this one to region let's make that 18 as well as 5 but I need I'm going to have to copy that I need this an arrow or downwards looking arrow in the end so let's copy that in word document right in here just copy that copy and paste that right inside the text there we go yeah that's the arrow there so that is fine that takes care of that and right in there we also need a combo box yeah combo box here all right that is fine and here copy and paste that in here so that will be the name of the college so we can change that to Saint Malachi's College. Right. Let's drag it that much. Okay. Now we look for a picture to add in there, but uh, let's add a label. We can always use this to enter our picture in here. Right. Somewhere there. So let's look for a picture and now I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I've got the pictures I'm going to be using. Let me show it to you guys. Here are the pictures. These are supposed to be the pictures of the students. And that's supposed to be the picture of the college. So it's one of the images that I drew in, in uh, Flash many years, some years ago. Okay now let's open up the property here okay you see right here I'm gonna to have to add a picture right in there inside my project folder here this very folder look at it so open up the pictures I'm gonna select the ones I need I need this right so I'll now drag it straight on the folder look at it right there let me show you one thing just to let you know there's nothing in there we collapse it there's nothing now back to the picture now drag the picture we required right there drop it on board now you see this dialog box is now asking you to select 
how files should be imported into the project. You can either copy the file or link the file, but I'm going to copy the file right onto the project. So click on OK. There, that's what I want. I want it on the project or in the project. Sorry, there, there we go. Those are the files. Now, if you guys can still recall my label, that's my label right there. Let me run it before I do any other things so that you see how the whole system looks like. That's how the systems look right now. So we close that right here. The label, okay. Look at the label, make sure it's selected, and I can now collapse this. Take note of the name of the image I intend to use, collapse that as well. Back on the structure here, and now need a picture. You go to where the icon is. Look at it icon, click on the icon, and select the picture you want. So the classic path resource. Okay, so I'm gonna select this. Click on this one. There we go. That's the one I want. Now drop this down. Then click on the project name. Drop that down. Let's select the image that I want. This very one. There we go. Click on OK. And there we go, guys. The image of the college is right on the system now the text let's get rid of the text there we go done if i run the program now this is what you guys will see right there that's my image right there on the system okay that's beautiful looks very good okay now the next thing we want to do is i'm going to collapse all these the design kind of like take a lot of I'm going to copy this and paste it right in there. Okay, just let's paste it right in there. But I'm going to have to reduce it there. I'll bring it down how I want. I'll do that. That's too small. Right there. Okay, you see that, guys? So I'm going to copy it and make sure everything is the same size then I would now speed up the whole process the width is 6 so let's go in there it's not 0 it is 6 yeah. there we go right there so Copy that, copy and paste for the others. Make sure you have approximately the same size. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So let's copy this first and paste it right in here. Change this one to number one. Okay, just change it in there anyway. Number one. Paste another one here. You can change it in the source number two and so on okay so i'm gonna now do that and get back to you guys okay guys this is how it looks now all right so what i'm gonna do is i'll copy this across and enter course code student name then we can start some coding so here the course code we can just make that up so that's here would be for the course code and let's say the course code is let's go for one one five five that's the course code one three five five that's our course code there and we can we just need to copy this one across anyway paste it right in there and so on there the course code is ready so the next thing is you see this very one let's change that let's come in here and just change that to about 18 as well right there and you see where it says model 
let's change the model as follows click on that and just enter that will stand for present and zero stands for absent s for sick a for authorized absent i think that might be all present absent sick authorized absent yeah right i think i have that in there so the default value looks like is present okay so let's copy that we're gonna copy all of this and paste it in here for each student so we assume this student is gonna be present let's say copy this speed that up all right guys I have finished with the design of the interface so let me run the program you have a look this is how it all looks like okay all that is left here is just to enter the student's number so we're going to write some lines of code to generate that the student names are already on board the course code and this is where you mark your register if a student is present or authorized absent there we go and this we will use this just to populate the system to make life easy for the lecturer that's the course code and that is supposed to record the percentage of attendance for that very day and in here that will be the lecturer's name okay so let's say the lecturer is Paula Paula Jones yeah. okay the first thing we need to do is to make sure we have the student numbers there so to achieve that I'm going to have to declare all of these as global variables so those are the names so let's go straight into let's go straight on to where we declare the global variables so right there okay so I'm just going to copy that and we have to we have up to 10 of those anyway so this is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, nine, and ten. That's ten, and this is nine. Okay. Now that I've declared all of those. That does not mean the problem is over. They are now all global variables. So the other thing is, if I come straight in here, let's say we come straight onto this very first one here. If you come straight to the, make sure it's selected. Go to the source code there, and look, you see have the J label. So that means is as declared as a local variable so I've taken it off it's now working with the global variable up there so I'm gonna have to repeat that's exactly the same thing for label 2 that's label 2 here get rid of that label 3 delete Four here, five. That's six.
okay that is fine so the next thing I like to do now is I will now go into my form load or in here it's actually called window called window activate let me come straight into window activate I've already declared a local variable in there called student number and the value for student number is 265 so for the very first label it's going to add 100 to it so if I run it now so the very first student label will be displayed right up there there we go all right let's come in here so for the second student number I'm gonna copy that is that there and this would be variable number two string variable number two string variable number two label two so let's see what's going to happen label two let's see let's run it and see label two and label one are the same so we can always increment this very one changes to 200 okay so when we run it so the student number here that is the student ID number okay let's repeat the same thing for the rest so I'm just gonna copy that that's three four five six seven eight nine and ten there we go that's number ten here in the case of ten maybe right okay let's go in here so that we can get it right that is three This will be three. It's four. Five. And this will become five, six. Okay, so down six, now this is seven. the lines of code that will generate the student ID number so if I run it that's what you get guys those are the student ID number okay we're almost there now let's take care of this yes we can officially click manually but supposing all of the students are on excursion, which means they are all on authorized apps I have authorized absence. So if I click on this, I want it to be able to populate that. So to achieve that, I will first of all have to declare all of these as local as global variable and repeat exactly the same thing. That I've done so with the labels so let's come back in here so let's check out the names let's come with one two three four five or 
to 10 I believe that is 10 so let's go into the global variable area I have up to three there so copy that and I need just two more I think okay this is four to do this because I notice the system might not work if it's not done so let's declare it all as global variable right underneath your project title okay right underneath your project name actually all right so let's do the same thing for this make sure this one is done this one is done. This is done. Let's do this. Yeah, the other. Yeah, we love that. Five. Six. Seven. Eight and nine. There we go. That's fine. Okay. Now let's come back in here. You see this very button here. Can do that. This very button. I would like it. Like it to actually anytime you select either present or absent, I like it to be able to populate it. So let's double click on it right in here. I said if combo zero dot value equals zero, that means everybody is absent. So let's copy this. towards the end of academic year most students don't attend so that means you can always use that just to save time the program and select zero I can always populate the rest of the combo box so let's come right in here all right it's the end of year everybody are now on French leave that's it that means you are all absent so for that very day attendance here will be zero percent okay else supposing they are all present so we want that to be 100 percent attendance so let's come in here and just come straight into the button double click on it i'm just going to copy this so that would be else if if that is that so everybody is present now we change this to present Okay, let's try this out. See, they are all absent. No, they are all present. That is good. 
all right so let's take care of the last two let's come in here i'm just going to copy all of this Absence, maybe they are all on a scotion or whatever. Let's just convert this all to authorized absence. And there's one more, one more argument. Supposing the student is late, that is not on. Well, let's take care of the seek first then, uh, then we can always change that so I'm just going to copy and speed that up as well let's speed that up Okay, all of that is done now so let's look at this late supposing they are all late that is not in the or that's not on on the combo box and we don't have to add that so let's put an L there for late speed it up as well okay the late condition is there as well sick is the authorized is the present and absent but when we look into the or when we look on on this very one if you go straight into the property here let's go to structure right here so make sure it's selected restructure model you see l is missing so we need to add that to it okay, so that's fine so the same thing will be repeated for the rest of the buttons here we need to add lateness to it that's late I'm going to copy that and paste it around the rest. that is it so let's speed that up now for the rest okay all is done now so let's run this system and just have a look at it so let's say it's all authorized absent That's all absent. Let's say they are all late. Everyone is present. Maybe one or two is absent. Late is absent. This student has called in sick, and here he is, I think, uh, is absent. It's authorized. Okay, that's it for Carlton. Right. One other thing is. Let's move this up here as the register number and the teacher's name or the lecturer's name. So let's come right here. Minimize that and just grab this. The register number should be with this. Every register number should just be one. Okay, come right in here change that around register number that is three six five slash one three five five that is the register number so we can always delete this then which means we don't need that all right let's move this up 
okay this is how the whole interface looks now let me run it and you can see it properly I have the lecturer's name there you can always enter the teacher's name and that's the register number the name of the institution and here we can have percentage of each individual student here so if you want to know the individual by uh, or facially if you want to know the individual facially you click on their name you should be able to see that here so what I will do is let's come in here enter a label here that's a label and here that's the name of the label LBL details all right so we're going to now select an object let me just show you guys an example with one object right there or maybe first of all we need to know the location of those images right here now let's use the other one this one this one right here so let's say we want to use picture one or maybe picture two picture one who is picture one let's see picture one is male that's fine and picture two that's female okay so all you need to do is right click and select the property okay you guys can see that so let me go to the project make sure it's selected go straight to the project and select property right there so you can always find the location of each individual picture that is it there okay and then you have to change it all to backslash so if I copy that now click on OK well, the other thing is if we select it here we can see the full part that is the full part so you need what you need is you need the property okay right so right click and select properties all right there so let's come up here let's say we want to take care of counting right click on counting add event and the event we want to use is mouse click okay that's it right there mouse click and you're going to enter as follows let's paste this force and change all of these to forward slash okay that is it all in there so you then need it should be in a bracket really let's get the object in then bracket and close the bracket right here there right okay that is it that's the object and that's the name of the object so in here you would then enter lbl details dot set icon this very one and then the icon you set in that's it right this already in that's all there is to it and this is supposed to be picture box one so I'm going to copy that anyway right click copy so let's run it anyway you see what I'm talking about so suppose you want to know the student counting you click on that and counting you appear there let's see that one is there okay all right so let's see what the problem might be you can see michael london is there 
the sea. Parting. Alright. So let's copy that of Michael London. Right click, come in here. Michael London. Okay, that is counting there. I think counting is fine now. Let's run it and see. So, to see the student counting, that's it. Okay, but we need to change the images. Let's see, is there an image called one? Let's run that and see. There's no image called one, so let's go and see the other names of the images. We have three, four, okay. Three and four. Will this be counting? It's three, run. Yeah, that is fine, and this is. Peter Pan, Peter Pan is working anyway, so let's check and see if this the image for Peter Pan there. Let's see in the image extension. Let's hope there's no problem with the image extensions. Okay, they are all JPG. Okay, then pick one. Okay. Let's go back in here. Right click and let's just change this to pick one. Just to make sure it's fine. Picture one. Run that. And check out Peter Pan. Yeah, that's fine. So Carlton is working, Michael London is working, but the rest is nothing there. Okay, now you guys see how it works, so I'm just gonna speed that up and get back to you. Okay, guys, this is how this is the, the audio side, the lines of code for the details. I've also added an attendance there. So let's say this guy's attendance is uh, maybe 90. Yeah, instead of 100. So just run it and let's see. Who is this guy? Grace Jones. So we can populate. Let's say we say they are all absent. Right. So present okay Peter Pan Ali Hussein Paul Pepper that is Mommy Rose Mommy Rose Grace Jones attendance of Grace Jones is 90% let's look at Sarah Tony Montana Henry Hill Carl Timville and Michael London. Those are all the students in the class. And the name of the teacher, let's say the lecturer's name is Paul Oben. Well guys, I will call it the end of this tutorial. So you all have a nice day now. And bye for now.